Hey, welcome back to Beards Grid. In this video, we're going to be learning about the equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. Coming up. So the equation of a line is the rule that connects the x and the y coordinates for all the points on the line. The rule can be written in the form of y equals mx plus c, where m and c are constant. So I've taken an example from a previous video. I've got a table of values and a graph with a straight line on it. So we're going to use this to explain the components of y equals mx plus c. m is the gradient. So on my straight line then, that represents the slope or the steepness of the line. That's the gradient. And c refers to the y-intercept. And that you can see here, the point where it cuts through the y-axis. That's the y-intercept. So let's do an example where we consider the line with the equation y equals 2x. So what does it actually mean then, y equals 2x? It means for all the points on the line, the y-coordinate is double the x-coordinate. So you can imagine if I had a y-coordinate of 4, then the x-coordinate would be 8. If the y-coordinate was negative 2, then the x-coordinate would be negative 4. And that would be true for all points on the line. So consider the line with equation y equals 3x plus 7. What does that mean? Well, in terms of x and y, for all the points on the line, the y-coordinate is 3 times the x-coordinate plus 7. So for example, if I had a y-value of 1, then 3 times 1 plus 7 would give us an x-value of 10. So let's have a look at the example that I showed you earlier on. I've got a table of values, and I have a graph with the straight line on it. Now, for me to work out the gradient, I'm going to do the vertical step divided by the horizontal step. You can see that here, I've got a vertical step of 60 and a horizontal step of 4. So that means I've got a gradient of 15. Now, that represents that the steepness or the slope of my straight line is 15. Next, I need to work out the y-intercept. And I can clearly see that from this point here, the y-intercept, the point where the line cuts the y-axis, is 10. And so if I use the gradient and the y-intercept, I can write an equation for the line as y equals 15x plus 10. Remember, if we go back, m represents the gradient and c represents the y-intercept. So let's do an example where we consider the equation of a line y equals x minus 2. Part a, construct a table of values where x is from negative 3 to 3. And part b, draw the graph of the equation y equals x minus 2. Pause the video here and have a go yourself. So part A then, I'm going to do a table of values for x and y when x is from negative 3 all the way to 3. And so let's do an example where x is negative 3. If I substitute that into the equation y equals negative 3 minus 2, that gives me a value of negative 5. So when x is negative 3, y is negative 5. And the same way, I've substituted these values to find out the rest of the values of y. So that's part A done. Part B then, I want to draw the graph of y equals x minus 2. So I know that the x values are from negative 3 to positive 3, so my x axis has to be wide enough. And I know that the y axis is from negative 5 to 1, so that has to be long enough as well. So now all I need to do is plot the coordinate pairs on my graph, and then draw a straight line through all my points. So check your working out against mine, see if you got all correct, and if you have any questions, as always, put them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.